the nails was placed in his hands at nine o'clock in the morning. The cross stayed on the ground from nine o'clock in the morning to 12 o'clock, 12 noon. And at 12 noon, they hoist up the cross and the sun went dark. I I've never seen a sun go dark so early in the day. As long as Jesus was on the ground, it, it was not an issue. But when he got elevated, that's when things started to change. As long as Jesus was on the ground, the sun continued to shine. But when Jesus got elevated, things started to change. As long as you stay on the level of other people that you are with, you will never have a problem. But when you begin to elevate and see promotions and see things start to change, that's when, uh, that's when you start to see that things around you start to get dark. And the Bible says when he got elevated, the sun refused to shine. I know some of us thinking this morning because of the darkness and why would the darkness come when Jesus is, is, is on the cross and hanging up? All the things that he has done. Uh, but you have to understand one thing. It wasn't just Jesus there at the cross. Um, it was Mary, his mother, at the cross. The someone that was compassionate that she was at the cross. Not only Mary was at the cross. It was Mary Magdalene, the one who got saved, the prostitute who got saved. She was at the cross. Not only that was she was at the cross, it was uh, one of his dear friends called John the Beloved that he was at the cross. Knowing that he was at the cross, it was a non-believer that started to believe that saturing he was at the cross. There is a reason why, uh, why this is important. I, I do not want you to skate by this this morning so quickly. I want you to, to think about it for a few minutes that, um, that, that, that why the sun went dark, why that, that in this dark moment that God cannot make a miracle out of this mess, why in this dark situation that we're in, I found one thing in this dark situation, you, you, you learn how to fellowship with one another better. Uh, in this dark moment that we are in, uh, we, we learn how to respect our family more. Uh, in this dark moment, we, we, we understand that clothes don't even matter anymore. We learn in this situation that even, even, even getting a lot of money or prospering doesn't even matter no more. In this, in this dark, God is making a miracle in this darkness. In this darkness, God raised up. I know one thing the Bible says that whatever the enemy meant for evil, God would turn it around for our good. But in this dark moment, I understand one thing. In a dark moment, uh, you can hide yourself in this dark moment. I, I can't get no help this morning. Even in this dark moment that we are in, it's a miracle because why is a miracle? Because some people that was in God was not doing the things in God. So God still have a miracle for you. Because God would not allow people to see your shame. I can't get no help this one. Let me, let me, Amen. Let me finish this. Uh, in, in this darkest moment right now, we are learning how to get it together. In this darkest moment, we learn how to pray. But those that did pray is learning how to pray. Those that didn't know how to sing is learning how to sing. Glory, those that did not depend on God is learning how to call on the name of Jesus. To depend on God. Because the Bible said, if he be lifted up from this earth. Well, I told you what David said. David said, darkness cover, but the word of God still prevails. I can't get no help this morning. It says that, David said that uh, when, yeah, when yeah. darkness covered the earth, the word, the word, the word still prevailed. Uh, let me finish this this morning. There's a reason.
reason why this is important uh, 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 this morning about this darkness, there will be, there you will see from the sixth hour to the ninth hour, darkness prevail. Darkness, 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 darkness have a deadline. Darkness cannot stay around always. Darkness have a deadline. Um, light have a deadline. Good times have a deadline. Bad times have a deadline. I cannot say it. Uh, darkness cannot stay around but for too long. But God but God has a, a, a limitation as to how long you're going to stay in your dark situation. Because darkness has a timeline. Darkness have a timeline. Soon light will come again. Soon, soon opportunities will take place again. Soon uh, you will be able to go outside again. Soon you won't be enclosed. Again. Soon. So what are you going to do? What do you learn in your dark times to take into the light? Darkness have a deadline. That's why our ancestors used to quote. There is a bright side somewhere. Oh, they used to say things like this too. They said weeping may endure for the night, but joy is coming in the morning. Whatever you are going through, the dark season has a deadline. He let, he let, he let darkness cover the earth. Darkness is a metaphor for a symbol of judgment. He allowed it, he, God allowed darkness to cover the earth. His son, his son that who he loved, his son that, that who he sent down uh, here in the, in the Bible says in John 3, 16, that he so loved the world that he sent his Man, only on, begotten Son, I'm talking about this morning, church. I'm talking about me and you this morning that he has risen up. Me and you this morning that he has saved. Me and you this morning that he has gave jobs to. Me and you this morning that he gave up an opportunity. Me and you this morning that we could have been dead, sleeping in our grave, but we are still here. He so loved us that he gave us another opportunity to be here. But God is trying to work things out with you in the darkness to make a miracle out of the messed up situation to turn things around so when he, when darkness deadline comes to an end, those that have been sheltered in, those that have been praying, those that have been laboring in the things of God and God was says, now, now, now is the time. Now is the time to let your light shine so they can see me. See me and you. You stay in the home and see me in the reading. See me in the word. See me in prayer. See me in walking. See me in talking. See me in giving. See me in worship. See me in service. You're going to be on time for service now. You're going to be on time. You're going to sing like you never sung before. You're going to serve like you never served before. You're going to witness like you never witnessed before because you've been through a judgment stage. You've been through things that other people have to. That's when it came from the South. The people came out of the South. That's why they were so much on fire. That's why there's so much uh, focus on things and serving God. That's why the churches were filled, because they have been through things. It was still on their mind. It was still a taste in their mouth what they have been through. Well, well, but it was a deadline. All right. And when they came out of that situation, they was on fire. But this is this generation. This is a time for us to get on fire. For the Lord, let me finish this this morning. Uh, right. The question you have to ask uh, a critical thinker is why did it go dark? Uh, uh, a question you have to ask 
as a critical thinker, uh, why did it go dark so early? The historians uh, was, was there, they kind of asked what took place. The, the theologian uh, trying to ask uh, what took place. Those that study uh, the human uh, anatomy, they try to find out uh, what was in this man to have this situation. And they all scratching their head. They all trying to figure out. But we know that God is a God of other chances. God is a God of another chance. God is a God of another opportunity. God is a God will come through and help us in the troubling times. The reason, the reason, the reason why it happened because Jesus had hit rock bottom. Jesus is not going to, uh, uh, God is not going to uh, let the people watch him in shame. Uh, that's why it went dark. That's why all of a sudden it, it, it went dark because Jesus had hit rock bottom. He's on the cross. He, he's, he's hung between two things. He, he got nails in his hands and nails in his feet. He had been hoisted up. He had been put there as a symbol so uh, everyone can laugh at, everybody can joke at, but, uh, but God would not let uh, people watch his shame. He was not going to let people see him at his lowest moment. The reason why you ought to give God some glory because things, things got rough for you, but people could not even see how bad you were suffering. Can I even see how bad what you go even right now people can't even see what you're going through what you are dealing with because God is covering you they look at you in church and assume that everything is good with you but they do not know they, don't, they have no idea that you was frustrated they have no idea in church that you was broken. They had no idea in church that you was drained. They had no idea in church that you was wounded. Uh, Cause we come in and we 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 hide behind things. We hide behind our makeup, hide behind our shoes, and never know that we didn't have no connection with God. Never know that we wasn't not a prayer. Never know that we were just faking church. Never know that we wasn't giving our whole heart to God. We never know what we was going. We wanted to get there, but we couldn't get. There. We needed this time right now in God to wake us up. Wake up. To wake up us up. Not, not the coffee. No, not the coffee, not the tea. But to wake us up supernaturally. But God said, I will be a shield for you. God said, I will be a shield for you. God said that, that there are some folks that want to see you hit rock bottom. But God said, I want to see you succeed like, like Maya Angelou said, Maya Angelou said, but I still rise, but I still rise. He died. He died. They hung him high and they stretched him wide for early. Early, early Sunday morning, resurrection Sunday morning, he got up, and he got up with all power in his head, all Holy Ghost power, all healing power, all changing power in his head. It was early, early Sunday morning, and he got up. From a dying grave, and lift up one hand to heaven, and he said that I have all, all power, power in my hand. 